Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your mid-month May Tarot and Oracle card reading. This reading is for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to start off here with the theme for the reading brought to you by the Sacred Destiny Oracle card deck. You have the card of diligence, okay? So maybe about paying attention to details. We'll have to ask the cards. We'll consult with the tarot. And I think I did say we're having a detailed Celtic cross, and then we'll have a couple of other oracle cards. All right. What advice? What advice do you have for Aries, please? Whoa. What does Aries need to know, please? Whoops. We'll take that as a clarifier. For the best and highest good of all involved with Aries. Okay. That got a little sticky. My gosh. All right, here we go. Current situation, the lovers. The immediate influence is the Eight of Pentacles. Your subconscious, you've got needless worry. The distant past, you have the Four of Cups. The more recent past, the Two of Cups. Knight of Wands is coming towards you. You're represented by the Nine of Pentacles. You are attracting a Page of Wands, which is going to be a lot of fun. You've got an Ace of Wands in your hopes and fears. Six of Pentacles is in the um, outcome, which I like. Now, you also have here the Seven of Cups and Three of Swords as clarifiers. So I feel like it's about letting go of something, all right? If there's been some difficulty or challenge, you're really, you've got it attracting out of your subconscious. So we'll have to talk about that when we come to it. But that Three of Swords can also be resisting change. And one of the things that can happen and what I feel like may have happened is somebody here had a deep desire, but it was like you didn't want it to be done in a way that would make it scary. You know, like you don't want the job lost. You want a better job, but let's not be unemployed in the interim. You know how that works? I've had it happen in my own life. I mean, I have been flipped upside down a couple of times. Life will do that to you. Life will get you sometimes. But it really all is about your, your deepest desire. And so I feel like, too, if you had a job situation where you were underpaid for your skill set or you were having to work so darn hard to make the money that you were. And you're like, I don't need this stress and this pressure. I do feel like you have a new job and I feel like you have a much better working environment if that was the case for you. It just feels like it was done in a way that was challenging, okay? So I feel like it is time to change. It's time to take that leap of faith. Now, if it is something in terms of a love relationship, you have soulmate energy coming in here, but I still feel like it's being done in one of those ways that brings in heartache. It's like, I, I get it, but do we have to go down this road to do it? And so with that Seven of Cups, I also feel like they're trying to tell somebody, you've got to take off the rose-colored glasses about things that we're meant to let go of that are just hard to do it, though, right? It's like it feels like that energy of knowing, but just the heart, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants. So I do feel like with this energy, I'm going to get back to that Eight of Pentacles, with this, you're attracting synergy and a match, but it's that old paradox. You know the one, don't you? Let go to receive. It's coming in right here and right now. So you have fire, you have all the elements, and you have Gemini coming in too. So I do feel like with this, you have high vibrational stuff showing up here. And this energy of the sun is all about gains, riches, triumph. It's a wonderful card. This is a card of positivity. It is a yes card. But I feel like, too, there's some sifting and sorting going on here. So I also feel like, too, with this, it feels like you put a lot of attention and time. That card of diligence may also be a shout out to you. If you got that card and it, like, you know, made you want to punch the deck, like you're going, diligence, I've been diligent. What do you mean? I feel like they're giving you a nod. They're saying, yeah, I know you have. I see you. I feel the energy, the consistency of it, because that's what you're attracting. Now, if you did have a relationship that ended and it was one of those things where you didn't, there were a lot of things that weren't going in the right direction is how I get it. And it may have ended on their terms and taken you by surprise. I feel like you're on the road to attracting the exact right match. Now, if you've already met them and you're here because you're saying, is this the right match? Yes. Especially if the last one was kind of a parent-child relationship, like the person had some immaturity in odd ways. And I mean, like if they were, and I'm getting like 48 years old for somebody, somebody who was, you know, midlife and still had a lot of immature ways, even how they handled things on the phone and just those day-to-day -day things where it's like, huh, 
You know, like you're like, this is odd. And so I feel like there was some level of discomfort. Now, if it was a job that ended where you're really on the ropes with it, I do feel like you're bringing in balance and harmony. This energy of, of the lovers is a choice and a turning point. But with the Eight of Pentacles as its, you know, crossroad here, it, it really is a choice that's going to bring in more money and much more stability. It's going to bring in more opportunities too. So if you've been in a dead-end situation or even in a housing situation where you've had to do some things that you hadn't planned on, where you had to take some detours because perhaps things got a little expensive and you said, you know what, I'm just going to rent for a while. I didn't think I'd be renting at this age or I didn't think I'd be renting after I'd been a homeowner or I didn't think I said, you know, that sort of thing. I feel like you're on the right course to end up getting where you want to go, okay? So the universe hears you. But I'd also say, too, with this lover's energy, it is about overcoming. It is about being driven to, to your heart's desires. It's it's really being on the path of the heart, okay? And somebody left me this really religious thing, which I don't have a problem with religion, but it was like this biblical thing basically saying the Bible says the mind is in control. I don't, it was really strange, but either way with that, I do feel like, you know, we have to pay attention to our emotions. They're our guide. They're a tool and a resource. So in your subconscious, we've got this old thing. What's going on here? It's needless worry. Why is this back into the, to the picture? So for someone here, we have to be a little careful because you know what's going to happen? You're going to attract a bunch of near misses where you go, wow, that was close. I'm so glad that worked out. Just, oh, it couldn't have, just in the nick of time. It's this, okay? So we got to get into the place where we have a little more cushion, all right? Where it's like you've got not a near miss, where everything's moving and flowing forward beautifully. Now, if you're a person where you say, I am no stranger to chaos, it's also this, where you're kind of managing chaos a lot of the time. It's coming out of here. So we got to relax a little bit. We got to let the shoulders drop down. We got to just say, laugh at life, okay? When things start to happen in those threes that we know are part of the deal, and we start to say, I know this is happening. I'm attracting this because my energy keeps it keeps staying in the same place. So it goes, oh, here's another aggravation. Here's another aggravation. Oh, you wanted one more? Here you go. So I do feel like with this, it's about acknowledging it and changing up your own energy because you're the key to it all. And so with the four of cups in the distant past, I feel like somebody here may have had an opportunity and it just was not the right situation. Or like I said, what was your yum turned into some yuck? Like what once was good, you got, this is not right anymore. And so I do feel like it brought in a change, but fours are good. They're wonderful numbers in the tarot. In fact, the emperor, which represents Aries, is a number four. And so it really is about bringing an order and discipline. In this case, too, with the four of cups, it's also about really allowing the fullness and richness of life, really what measures and meets what your heart desires and not settling. So with this two of cups, you do have a match. You have it many, many times here, Aries. So especially too with love, I feel like you have somebody who comes in, it's just a very high level human. I do feel like too, they, they are going to match your tempo. Okay, so if you're like, I'm not in any huge hurry to be in a relationship, they're going to understand that. And it's not going to be, you know, one-sided or pushy or, you know, somebody too who's not that interested or who doesn't show that they're interested. I feel like there's a nice rhythm to this. And so, like I said, I feel like this person has their act together. I also feel like they're quite financially secure in terms of they don't have heaps of debt. They're not trying to figure out their financial life. I feel like they have a nice, solid grasp of like, this is how things work in life. So you're not going to have to be somebody's, you know, Dave Ramsey or something, okay? You're not having to be somebody's financial consultant here either. And so there's a real partnership here. Now, in terms of changes and choices, because we mentioned you do have a choice, this Knight of Wands is going to have things move and move quickly, all right? This Knight of Wands is a go, go, go kind of energy, and so I do feel like this is going to really be complimentary to you, and now remember the card of diligence, because this one can be a bit lacking on the details and the diligence. This can be like, 
let's hurry up and get this done. The Knight of Wands, too, will have you taking action. So I also feel like, too, you're going to have an ability to kind of roll with things. So if things aren't quite like that you wanted them or they came out of nowhere and seemed to surprise you, I do feel like this Knight of Wands is going to help you hit the ground running, where you're not going to be in a place where you're miserable and upset about things. This brings life back into life. It is perfect for you in this reading so that you won't be chained to misery at all. Now, with this Nine of Pentacles, you're coming into money, babe, all right, with this. She lives in a, a courtyard of luxury and prosperity and abundance. So if you are, in terms of you have been doing something just to kind of bridge the gap for a time period. So if the mar the real estate market took a turn on you, or like I said, you, you're looking at your life and assessing it, and you're not in the situation you thought you would be, I do feel like you have an increase. This is the luxury card, too. I also feel like too, you have you're gonna have some extra money to do things. You have the card the cards of travel here as well. So I also feel like too, if you've been saving or you wanted to travel, that may also be part of the deal that life shifted to allow you those desires. It does. It takes weird twists and turns. Now this is the single lady card, but you're not gonna be alone. And if you're a man, that just means that's what the card is called because the figure is a woman. You have lots and lots of social invitations. This in the area of what you're attracting is like fun, fun, fun. It is like the most exhilarating, exuberant energy. This is excitement, okay? This is excitement in a card. And so I do feel like any changes that you make, people are going to welcome you with open arms. They are going to be so not just welcoming, but excited about it. This is like really, if you've been feeling like, Life has just been kind of flat, not anymore. So even if you're single too, I do feel like you have more social invitations. You've got a lot of laughter, a lot of joy, great companionship overall, but life is moving forward. Now with this Ace of Wands as well, talk about another pick-me-up. This Ace of Wands is a new beginning and it definitely makes things move. And so it's passion. It's connecting you too. I just get with that source of life is what I hear. But I feel like they're saying your internal source. So if you felt like you've been status quo for a while in some area, you're not going to stay there, not with the Ace of Wands. And so you're going to be a magnet for the right people, the right situations. Your timing will be perfect. It's like this is bringing everything together. This can be an apology, but I just see you as moving forward in this reading. I don't see there being like, you know, in terms of... of apologies and things like that. I just feel like if it's not moving forward with you, it's just not going to be with you. So you've got beauty, harmony, and reciprocity in the outcome. You've got great balance. And so I also, we, like we said with a job, it's going to feel like a match. It's not going to feel way out of whack where you're feeling like either you're overskilled for the job or you're skilled, but they're expecting so much out of you that it's darn near soul draining. It's like this cannot continue. So if you've been tired, if you've been feeling like you've been strained, burdened, stretched too far, I feel like you're coming out of that Aries and it's going to be much better, much more balanced energy. All right, now we'll hear from the Fortune Oracle and then we'll conclude with the Whispers of Love. Whoops, I love it when I do that. My Virgo moon just went crazy. Okay, you have the card of the plane. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. And I think I said that before, that there's a richness of fullness in these cards. And so those of you that felt like things were flat, get ready. The fizzy lifting drink is coming in. All right. And then this is from the Whispers of Love. I love this one. Uh, they This is the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. So I do feel like you have somebody coming in who's ready-made. And if there were problems in the past with the last one, I don't see you attracting those again. I'd even go as far as saying a job or a housing situation too. You're not going to face the same challenges again, Aries. Good things are on the way for you. I love you and I'll be back again soon.